a drugstore overview of some lip products. Basically, the point of this video is to kind of show you um, some of the new drugstore lip products that are out there. And these are all lip gloss forms. Um, and just kind of like the different ones because a lot of them, if you'll go to a drugstore and pick up a new lip gloss, you might not know what exactly the applicator looks like. And kind of just, I guess, a quick review on each one so you can kind of figure out what they're like before you go ahead and purchase them. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the Revlon Cream Gloss. And this is what it looks like if you were to go buy it. So this is what you see. And this is kind of cool. It has one of these applicators that's like a twist up one. And it's like a little lip brush like this. You can see it's already up. This is a really beautiful color. This is in 55, which is hot tamale. I actually have it on right now. Really beautiful color. And I really love the consistency of this gloss. It's very, very smooth. Um, there's no gritty glitter or anything. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore lip glosses and again, it's the Revlon Cream Gloss. I love the packaging. I love, you know, how you twist it up and the product comes out. It's just absolutely amazing. Next one I want to talk about is the Super Stay Lip Color and this is by Maybelline. And I often really like Maybelline products. This one's kind of interesting. Um, basically what you do, it says, is the first step is you use this side, which has like a little brush applicator. And so you paint that on, and then you use the second side, which is kind of like a chopstick gloss, and you put that over it. Now, what I have realized about this one, this side is supposed to be like a long-lasting lip color, and so it starts off as a gloss, and it dries to um, obviously like a lipstick finish, kind of, kind of like a stain almost, but it is so incredibly drying. I almost wonder why you wouldn't maybe use this side first as like a really nice conditioning lip balm because that's what this is on um, more than a gloss you know if you put it over it it doesn't really look any more glossy but I definitely would recommend using a very good lip primer or even this second side of this before you put on the lip color because it's super super drying and um, it just it's not very glossy at all and the color of this one is really pretty I'll go ahead and swatch it for you Really beautiful color, um, very great for neutrals or someone who doesn't really want to play around with a lot of color. This is 785 and it says a 16 hour liquid color. So it's supposed to stay on your lips for 16 hours, which I guess is why it, it is so, I guess, drying and like staining almost. So that's what the color looks like. It's kind of like a brownish pink with a little bit of berry in it. Really pretty and I'll go ahead and swatch the other one too. Um, the Revlon Cream Gloss, which is a little bit more red. And there's the Revlon C Cream Gloss below. Okay, so those are those two. The next one I want to talk about are the CoverGirl Wet Slicks. And this is what this one looks like. Kind of just your average um, drugstore lip gloss. The only thing about this is I absolutely hate the consistency of these. I don't know if you can tell, but there is just glitter, and it's a bunch of, like, cheap glitter, and it just, it reminds me of, like, a really poor quality lip gloss. It's just, it's not very good at all. I do not like this at all. The glitter is just so thick. I mean, it's not finely milled at all, and you can, like, literally see the glitter. It's a pretty color, though. Um, it is in 425, which is called Sizzle, and there's the color. A lighter pink than the cream gloss. Um, so there it is. I don't know if you can see, but there is just glitter in there. So I definitely would not recommend the CoverGirl Wet Slicks. I just don't think they're very good at all. The next one are these Maybelline lip glosses, and this one is Hooked on Pink. And I really like this. The pattern, or the pattern, um, the packaging is really sleek and cute, and it has a doe foot applicator like this. And the consistency of this gloss is very thick. It's a thick gloss. I don't know if you can see that, but just, it's a super thick gloss. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely very rich in color, and it's really, it doesn't have any glitter. It has a little bit of glitter, but it's very fine glitter, so you're not getting the same as with the Wet Slicks. You're not getting, like, dots of glitter. It's just kind of like a shimmer, so that's what it looks like when it's swatched. 
And again, this is in the color Sizzle. Really like these. Um, it's definitely a very good lip gloss. It makes your lips feel nice and glossy with a little bit of kind of a sheen. And um, yeah, so I definitely recommend the Maybelline, these ones. And the last one that I want to talk about is these are the Revlon Color Say Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks. And I don't know if it's just me, but I see a definite similarity to the MAC Dazzle glasses with these. So the packaging is very similar. So this is a MAC Dazzle glass, and this is the Color Say Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. So as you can see, they kind of copied MAC on the packaging with this. And the consistency is also very much like a liquid, a li is very much like a dazzle glass. Um, it has like all the little glitter and stuff in it. So it also has a doe foot applicator. And this is an intense color. It's very, very pigmented. Absolutely beautiful color. It's a nice, really bright red. Um, the shimmer does not bother me so much in this one because it's very fine and little. It kind of has some pink and some silver in it, and there is that color, a beautiful, beautiful red color. This is in the color Top Tomato. Really beautiful. So, that's one. So, overall, my favorite drugstore lip glosses would have to be the Revlon Cream Gloss is number one. My second favorite drugstore lip gloss would be Maybelline's Hooked on Pink Lip Gloss. And my third favorite would be the Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick by Revlon. So I hope this helped you guys just a little bit. If you have any questions on some drugstore lip products, let me know. I will be doing a drugstore favorite lipstick video next, so watch out for that. Thank